Hello Explorers and welcome to your favorite channel, Eat Explorers. Today, we're about to embark on an incredible journey, a journey that will take us through the intriguing labyrinths of the human mind, and the revolutionary world of artificial intelligence. Our brains have always been a source of awe and wonder. They are responsible for our thoughts, feelings, creativity, and even our very consciousness. These three pounds of gray matter encapsulate the essence of what makes us human. On the other hand, we have artificial intelligence, which although born from human ingenuity, has quickly grown to a level where it is changing the way we live, work, and understand our world. This non-biological form of intelligence, inspired by our own brains, is making waves in almost every field you can think of. In this exploration, we will delve into understanding the fundamental workings of our brain, how it is structured, how it functions, and how it copes with fatigue and pressure. We will also learn about artificial intelligence, what it is, how it works, and how it is both similar to and different from our brains. Further, we will discuss what makes the human brain superior in certain aspects, and how artificial intelligence can outperform us in others. We will base our analysis on the most recent and scientifically valid sources, providing a detailed and comprehensive picture. Why is this comparison important, you might ask? As we stand on the brink of the age of artificial intelligence, understanding this relationship becomes critical. It allows us to navigate the challenges and opportunities AI brings, to understand our own strengths and limitations, and to think about how we can work with AI in ways that are mutually beneficial. So, whether you're a student, a professional, a tech enthusiast, or simply a curious mind, buckle up for this incredible journey. Let's unravel the mysteries of the human brain and the enigma of artificial intelligence. Understanding the human brain, structure and function. Now, let's delve into the remarkable organ that is the human brain. This soft, gelatinous structure, weighing about three pounds, is the seat of intelligence, interpreter of the senses, initiator of body movement, and controller of behavior. It is the most complex structure known to humanity, housing approximately 86 billion neurons. The brain is generally divided into three main parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the brainstem, each with specific functions that make our life as we know it possible. The cerebrum, the largest part, is further divided into two cerebral hemispheres, the outer layer of these hemispheres is called the cerebral cortex, a repository of information and cognitive skills. It is here that we find the centers for thought, perception, and memory. The cerebrum is divided into four main lobes, frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital, each responsible for different types of conscious experiences. The frontal lobe, for instance, is involved in planning, decision-making, and voluntary movement, while the occipital lobe is primarily involved in vision. Moving on to the cerebellum, often referred to as the little brain, it's primarily responsible for precise timing and coordination of movements. It enables us to perform motor tasks smoothly and efficiently, from walking to catching a ball. And then we have the brainstem, our life support system. It controls our heart rate, breathing, swallowing, and whether we are awake or asleep. It's also a conduit for signals passing from the rest of the brain to the body and vice versa. Deep within the fascinating architecture of the brain lies its fundamental building blocks. Neurons. There are approximately 86 billion neurons in the human brain, each functioning like a tiny information processing unit. Neurons communicate with each other relaying messages throughout your body and powering all of your thoughts and actions. Neurons talk to each other using both electrical and chemical signals. Messages start as electrical signals traveling rapidly down a neuron. These signals are called action potentials. When they reach the gap between two neurons the messages need some help to get across. The information is transformed from an action potential into a chemical message which crosses the gap called a synapse. The release of those chemical messengers can trigger an action potential in the neuron on the other side of the synapse conveying the message onward or it can quiet the message. This happens over and over and over and with repeated activity apps get stronger so the next message is more likely to get through that way. Neurons learn to pass on important messages and ignore the rest. This is how our brains learn and adapt to an ever-changing world. 
Each neuron forms about 7,000 synaptic connections, resulting in a staggering number of connections in the brain. In fact, it's been estimated that the number of potential patterns of brain activity exceeds the number of atoms in the known universe. The beauty of our brains lies not just in their complexity but also in their flexibility. The brain constantly rewires and reshapes its neuronal network in response to new information and experiences, a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. For instance, London taxi drivers, known for their extensive knowledge of the city's complex road network, have been found to have a larger hippocampus, the area of the brain associated with spatial memory. This is a compelling example of neuroplasticity at work, showing how our brains adapt and change according to our experiences and learning. Similarly, in response to injury or disease, the brain may undergo reorganization, where functions of damaged areas are taken up by other areas, again exemplifying neuroplasticity. As we continue to explore the brain's dynamic landscape, these insights into neurons, synapses, and neuroplasticity unlock new possibilities for understanding learning, memory, recovery, and the vast potential of the human mind. Let's shift our attention to the artificial intelligence or AI brain. An artificial neural network in AI is a computational model inspired by the human brain structure. In our brain, we have billion of neurons. These neurons are what give us the ability to do anything. They send the signals to the various parts of our body to act, and they send signals to our brain that can enable us to think and be humans. Neurons and neural networks serve an analogous role, and that's why the nomenclature is similar. Neurons in our brain are much more complex and advanced than neurons in an artificial neural network. Artificial neurons do not work the same way. The analogy with artificial neurons is limited because it applies to the way that they are networked, not to the way that they function. Like in the brain, we connect multiple neurons together and form a neural network which we can train to perform a task. If we continue the analogy a little further and look at a biological neuron and that in an artificial neural network, we see why it makes sense to draw this comparison. A biological neuron has a cell body with a nucleus. This is the core of the neuron where the processing takes place. Around the cell body, there are dendrites, which are signal receivers. They take in inputs which the cell body can then process. On the other end, there is an axon which ends with the terminal axons that can pass on a signal to the dendrites of the next neuron. In a similar way, a neuron in a neural network is a processor, which is essentially a function with some parameters. This function takes in inputs, and after processing the inputs, it creates an output which can be passed along to another neuron. The input is analogous to the dendrites and the output is analogous to the terminal axons. The function in the neural network is like the cell body. Like neurons in the brain, artificial neurons can also be connected to each other via a synapsis. This is what a neural network is. It's neurons connected with each other, receiving inputs and passing along outputs in a complex network. While an individual neuron can be simple and might not do anything too impressive, it's the networking that makes them so powerful. And that network is the core of artificial intelligence systems. Despite these differences, the AI brain has proven capable of impressive feats, from diagnosing diseases to driving cars. But how does it stack up against our brain in terms of cognitive abilities? The AI brain has sparked much curiosity and awe, but how does it work? What enables it to perform tasks that mimic human intelligence? The key lies in several interconnected concepts, machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. At the heart of AI is machine learning, a method where computer systems learn from data. Unlike traditional programming, where specific rules are written for every task, machine learning systems learn those rules by detecting patterns in data. Imagine teaching a child to recognize a dog. You'd show them many pictures of dogs, and over time, they learn to identify what dog means. Machine learning works similarly. Given enough data, say, thousands of dog pictures, these systems can learn to identify dogs in new pictures they've never seen. But what if we want our AI to perform more complex tasks, like understanding the contents of a written paragraph or recognizing a person's emotions from their facial expressions? That's where deep learning comes in. 
Deep learning, a subset of machine learning, uses artificial neural networks with many layers, hence, deep, to model complex patterns. These networks, inspired by our brain's network of neurons, allow ICE to think, at a higher level, understanding intricate patterns in data. And just like we humans learn through practice and make mistakes along the way, AI systems also learn by training. During training, an AI is given a dataset and makes predictions based on it. It then checks these predictions against the correct answers to learn from its mistakes. This process is repeated many times, each time refining the AI's ability to make accurate predictions. In summary, AI, brains, don't think or learn in the same way we do. They are powerful tools that can process massive amounts of data and learn to perform specific tasks. However, they are far from replicating the full spectrum of human cognitive abilities. In the next segment, we'll dive deeper into these differences and why, despite its impressive capabilities, AI still has a lot to learn from the human brain. Comparing the human brain and AI. Similarities between the human brain and AI. As we delve into the realm of similarities between the human brain and artificial intelligence, it's essential to remember one thing. AI was designed by humans to mimic certain aspects of our brains, particularly our ability to learn from experience. Let's take neural networks, a key component of deep learning. They are designed to mirror our brain's network of neurons. For instance, a human brain has about 86 billion neurons, each making about 1,000 to 10,000 synapses, amounting to more than 100 trillion synaptic connections. While AI doesn't come close to this complexity, the principle remains the same. In artificial neural networks, artificial neurons, or nodes, are interconnected in layers to process data. For instance, Google's AI, AlphaGo, which famously beat a world champion Go player, used a network of 13 layers with 1,000 nodes each, totaling 13,000 artificial neurons. Another similarity is the concept of learning. Both the human brain and AI learn from experience. However, while we learn from our sensory experiences and interactions with the world, AI learns from data, lots and lots of it. For instance, OpenAI's GPT-3 was trained on hundreds of gigabytes of text data. Differences between the human brain and AI As we embark on the journey of understanding the differences between the human brain and artificial intelligence, we need to keep in mind a study published in Frontiers in Computational Neuroscience in 2020. According to this study, the brain's computational capacity is around one exaflop, which equals a billion billion calculations per second. This astounding figure gives us a starting point to contrast with AI's computational abilities. Considering processing, the most powerful AI systems today, from June 2022, USA's Frontier is the most powerful supercomputer on top 500, reaching 1102 petaflops, 1.102 exaflops, on the Linpack benchmarks. Moving on to learning, AI, particularly in machine learning models, learns from extensive datasets. For example, OpenAI's GPT-3 was trained on hundreds of gigabytes of text from the internet. However, this type of learning is limited to the data it has been trained on, and the AI lacks the ability to apply learned knowledge to new, unfamiliar situations. In contrast, the human brain's capability for abstract thinking allows us to generalize knowledge from a handful of examples and apply it to unfamiliar scenarios. This capability was demonstrated in a 2019 study published in Nature Human Behavior, where it was found that humans could generalize knowledge about physical objects and their properties after interacting with only a few examples. In terms of decision-making, AI uses predefined algorithms and goals to make decisions. For instance, DeepMind's AlphaGo, an AI developed to play the board game Go, makes decisions based on potential moves' statistical likelihood of leading to a win. However, this is a purely quantitative approach, without room for emotional or ethical considerations. Meanwhile, humans incorporate a broad range of factors into their decision-making process, from emotions and ethical considerations to societal norms and personal experiences. According to a 2020 study published in the journal Science, 
Even our gut microbiome can influence our decision making, something that current AI cannot replicate. In conclusion, while AI has come a long way in mimicking some aspects of the human brain, it is fundamentally different and, in many aspects, still far from reaching the brain's complexity. This doesn't undermine AI's accomplishments but instead highlights the unique and extraordinary capabilities of the human brain. Superiority of the human brain emotions we've all experienced them but have you ever stopped to consider what a complex and incredible phenomenon they are the human brain can perceive and interpret a vast array of emotions research has identified six basic emotions happiness sadness fear disgust anger and surprise that are universally recognized across different cultures but how does this happen well Nestled deep within our brain is the amygdala, an almond-shaped structure that plays a critical role in our emotional responses. According to a study by Ledoux, neuroimaging has shown that our amygdala lights up particularly during experiences of fear and anxiety. So where does AI stand in this context? As advanced as they are, AI systems are not yet capable of truly understanding or experiencing emotions as humans do. Some AI models have been trained to recognize and respond to human emotions to a certain extent, by analyzing facial expressions, voice tonality, and even text sentiment. For instance, a study by IBM in 2015 showed their AI system Watson had an accuracy rate of around 77% in understanding human emotions from text. But remember, these are algorithm-based interpretations, not actual emotional experiences. Next, let's discuss intuition, that gut feeling that often guides our decisions. It's a spontaneous, unconscious process that our brain develops over years of learning and experience. In a study conducted by Bachara and Damasio in 2005, they used the Iowa gambling task to show how participants began to make advantageous choices before being consciously aware of the strategy, demonstrating the power of intuition. When it comes to intuition, AI is again left behind. Despite AI's ability to analyze patterns from big data and even predict outcomes, it's not the same as human intuition. AI's decisions are based on programmed algorithms and the data it's been trained on, not on past experiences or unconscious thought processes. So, while AI continues to advance and become more human-like, the emotional depth and intuitive abilities of the human brain remain unmatched. These elements add a layer of complexity and richness to human cognition that AI has yet to achieve. Human creativity is a force to be reckoned with. It's the source of all our art, music, culture, and even scientific innovations. Creativity involves thinking outside the box, making connections between disparate ideas, and coming up with novel solutions. In a study conducted by El Emil and colleagues in 2012, it was found that the default mode network, an area of the brain that's active during mind-wandering and daydreaming, plays a crucial role in creative thinking. Now, what about AI? We've seen AI creating art, music, and even writing scripts. A project by Rutgers University in 2017 trained an AI to create new artworks, and it was so successful that people found it difficult to distinguish the AI-created art from human-created art. Recent art creation by Midjourney or similar type platform can generate image according to based on human imagination through user-defined prompt. However, remember, AI's creativity is different from ours. It's based on patterns, algorithms, and the data set it was trained on. It doesn't involve a eureka moment of insight or the ability to think beyond its programming. And it is reflecting user imagination to the date. Abstract thinking is another amazing ability of the human brain, allowing us to understand concepts that cannot be touched or seen. It's what enables us to comprehend ideas like justice, love, morality, and the passage of time. Neuroscience research, such as a study conducted by Duff and colleagues in 2007, suggests that our prefrontal cortex plays a crucial role in our capacity for abstract thought. But when it comes to AI, abstract thinking remains a far-off dream. Today's AI can process vast amounts of information and make predictions based on patterns, 
but they cannot truly understand or conceptualize abstract ideas. They can't ponder philosophical questions or appreciate a metaphor in a poem, as we do. So, while AI might mimic aspects of human creativity and abstract thinking, they are fundamentally different from the rich, spontaneous, and innovative thinking that characterizes the human brain. When we speak about consciousness, we're talking about subjective experience or awareness, or the feeling of what happens, as neuroscientist Antonio Damasio puts it. We're not only aware of our surroundings, but we're also able to be aware of our own thoughts and emotions. Scientific research is still unraveling the complex nature of consciousness. A study led by Giulio Tononi at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 2016 proposes the integrated information theory, which argues that consciousness is widespread and can be identified by the ability of a system to integrate information. Now, can AI possess consciousness? Currently, AI lacks the ability to be aware of its thoughts or understand its experiences subjectively. They can process data and respond to it based on programming, but they lack an understanding of these experiences. Self-awareness, the understanding that I exist, is another distinctive feature of human cognition. The famous mirror test by Gordon Gallup in the 1970s shows that only a few animals like humans, some apes, and dolphins exhibit self-recognition, indicating a degree of self-awareness. AI, on the other hand, even with advanced programming, does not exhibit self-awareness. They might mimic self-aware behaviors based on their programming, but they don't truly comprehend their existence. One of the most remarkable traits of the human brain is its adaptability. Our brains can not only learn but also unlearn and relearn as per the changing environment. This capability, often referred to as neuroplasticity, allows us to adapt to new situations and recover from brain injuries. A 2018 research study led by Dr. Michael Merzenich, a leading pioneer in brain plasticity research, shows that targeted brain exercises can help rewire the brain, improving cognitive functions in people of all ages. AI, however, has limitations when it comes to adaptability. While AI can excel in the environment it's trained in, it struggles to adapt to unfamiliar situations or changes in the rules. As seen in a 2020 OpenAI study, when an AI trained in a video game environment was presented with a slightly altered version of the game, it was unable to perform as effectively. In conclusion, the human brain's superior adaptability and holistic learning capabilities are unmatched by current AI systems. Ethics and empathy are at the core of what makes us human. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, and ethics, the moral principles that govern our behavior, shape our interactions and relationships. A study published in Brain Imaging and Behavior in 2020 found that there are specific regions in the human brain associated with empathy, such as the anterior insula and the anterior cingulate cortex. It's this unique wiring of our brains that allows us to empathize, care for others, and understand complex ethical issues. In contrast, AI and robots can simulate empathy and ethical decision-making based on their programming. For instance, Sophia, a humanoid robot developed by Hanson Robotics, can mimic emotional expressions and hold simple conversations. But let's remember, AI does not understand ethics or empathy. It's running on algorithms and does not have emotions or conscience. The ethical decisions it makes are based on programmed. AI's lack of genuine empathy and understanding of ethics leads to complex dilemmas. For instance, if an autonomous car is about to crash, how does it choose between saving the passenger or a pedestrian? These questions highlight the ongoing challenges in programming ethical decision-making into AI. Superiority of AI While we've thoroughly celebrated the abilities of the human brain, let's not overlook the wonders of artificial intelligence. AI has been improving our lives in countless ways, so it's only fair that we highlight its superiority in certain areas as well. One of the key areas is its unmatched speed and accuracy. Think of a computer. Now, if I asked it to calculate 987,654,321 multiplied by 123,456,789,
it would give me the result in the blink of an eye. We humans, on the other hand, might need a piece of paper, a pen, and a fair bit of time. In fact, as per the data from Stanford University, a standard desktop computer can perform around a trillion calculations per second. Similarly, consider AI systems like IBM's Watson. It can read and understand 800 million pages per second. Our brains, though exceptional, simply cannot match this speed. It's like comparing a cheetah's speed to that of a snail. But it's not just about raw speed. It's about the accuracy too. AI doesn't get tired. It doesn't have a bad day. It doesn't get distracted. As a result, its ability to consistently produce accurate results is something that humans struggle to match. Take medical diagnoses as an example. In a study published in The Lancet, an AI system correctly diagnosed breast cancer at an accuracy rate of 94.5%, significantly outperforming the average human pathologist. In a world where early detection can be the difference between life and death, the implications of such accuracy are profound. So when it comes to speed and accuracy, AI clearly takes the lead. But remember, AI's speed and accuracy are results of human innovation. We're the creators of this extraordinary technology. We live in a world where 2.5 quintillion bytes of data are generated each day. That's equivalent to 250,000 libraries of Congress or about 1.25 billion iPhones worth of data daily. And here's the kicker. Humans are just not wired to process that much information efficiently. The brain's short-term memory can only hold around seven items, and our attention spans are getting shorter, with recent research suggesting that it's now around eight seconds, down from 12 seconds in the year 2000. On the other hand, AI shines brightly when it comes to big data. It can analyze, sort, and make sense of enormous volumes of data in a split second, learning and improving as it goes. And it doesn't stop there. AI can find patterns and trends in the data that would be almost impossible for a human to detect. A case in point is Google's DeepMind AI, which successfully predicted the 3D shapes of proteins, a feat that baffled scientists for decades. It analyzed huge amounts of data to predict how proteins fold, a process that can take humans years to understand for a single protein. So, while our brains have their limits, AI helps us transcend them, enabling us to make sense of a world that is becoming increasingly data-driven. And that's just a glimpse into AI's prowess. Humans need rest. We need sleep to function optimally. According to the National Sleep Foundation, adults need between 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. But what happens when we don't get enough shut-eye? Our performance suffers. Reaction time slow, memory suffers, and decision-making abilities deteriorate. But AI doesn't need sleep or breaks. It can operate 24-7, 365 days a year, without any decrease in performance. It doesn't get fatigued or distracted, and it doesn't make mistakes due to tiredness. Take automated systems used in aviation. Did you know that flight management systems control the aircraft for virtually all the flight? According to a 2013 study by the Federal Aviation Administration, pilots only manually fly the plane for three to six minutes of the flight, usually during takeoff and landing. These systems increase efficiency and significantly reduce the risk of human error. So, the AI's ability to tirelessly process data, make decisions, and perform tasks, regardless of the hour or the day, is a clear-cut superiority that it holds over the human brain. According to a recent estimate by Raconteur, the global data sphere is expected to reach a whopping 175 zettabytes by 2025. To put that in perspective, a single zettabyte is 1 billion terabytes. Can you imagine? And that's where AI steps in. Unlike humans, AI can easily sift through huge data sets in a fraction of the time it would take a human. For instance, another powerful example comes from the medical field. AI algorithms can analyze a data set of millions of medical images, identify patterns, make predictions, and provide insights at a pace and accuracy that no human doctor can match. This is not to replace our medical professionals but to assist them in providing better and more accurate diagnoses. But this data processing ability comes with a caveat. AI can process and make sense of vast amounts of data, 
but it still relies on humans to ask the right questions, interpret the results correctly, and ensure ethical use of this data. The human brain is an excellent pattern recognizer in some ways. We quickly recognize faces, read emotions, or identify familiar objects. However, our pattern recognition abilities have limitations, particularly when it comes to recognizing patterns in vast amounts of data. AI, on the other hand, is capable of recognizing patterns in exceedingly large and complex datasets. The game changer here is machine learning, a type of AI that improves automatically through experience. Machine learning algorithms use statistical techniques to learn and improve from the patterns in data without being explicitly programmed. As an example, consider how AI is used in healthcare. Google's DeepMind developed an AI algorithm capable of diagnosing eye diseases with a 94% accuracy rate by analyzing thousands of retinal images. This is a task that would take a human a significant amount of time and might not be as accurate due to fatigue or human error. By training on countless images, the AI system improves over time and helps doctors diagnose eye diseases more accurately and quickly. So, the superiority of AI in machine learning and pattern recognition is undeniable, given its ability to learn from and analyze vast amounts of data far more efficiently than a human can. Synergy between AI and the human brain The strengths of AI and the human brain complement each other perfectly. The human brain provides the creative, emotional, and intuitive insights, while AI brings speed, accuracy, and the ability to process massive amounts of data. This creates a powerful synergy that can accomplish incredible things. For example, Google's AI, Lina, can detect breast cancer metastasis with an accuracy of 99%. Yet, it's the human doctors who provide the empathy, patient care, and make the final diagnoses. Together, they're revolutionizing patient care. The collaboration between AI and the human brain isn't about one replacing the other. It's about a partnership that combines the best of both worlds to achieve results that were once thought impossible. The future of AI, becoming more human, the field of AI continues to evolve, with researchers aiming to make AI more human-like. Current projects are focusing on improving AI's capacity for contextual understanding, decision-making, and even emotion recognition. One such example is OpenAI's GPT-4, an AI that uses machine learning to understand and generate human-like text. GPT-4 had trained on an astonishing 570 gigabytes of text data. And yet, it's still a far cry from truly understanding context and nuance like a human brain. As we look to the future, we see a world where humans and AI are not in competition, but in collaboration. By combining the strengths of the human brain with the power of AI, we can make strides in fields ranging from healthcare to space exploration. So, it's not a question of who will win the race, the human brain or AI. It's about how we can best collaborate for the benefit of humanity. The possibilities are truly exciting. That concludes our journey into the fascinating world of the human brain and AI. Remember, it's not human versus machine. It's human and machine, together. That's the world we are all collectively striving to create. So while the debate on brain versus AI is a captivating one, let's remember that it's not about choosing one over the other, but about harnessing the best of both to drive our future. As we conclude, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What amazed you the most about the human brain? And what AI advancements are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. Alright folks, it's been an incredible journey through the fascinating world of the human brain and artificial intelligence. We've seen how our brains, with billions of neurons and trillions of connections, create the unique phenomenon of human consciousness, emotions, intuition, creativity, and innovation. We've also seen how AI, in its own realm, is capable of feats that surpass human capabilities, processing data at a speed and scale that's simply mind-boggling, making decisions with a level of accuracy that's near impossible for humans. But here's the crux of our exploration today. Neither human brains nor AI exists in isolation. It's in their collaboration that we can truly unlock the full potential of our intelligence. 
Imagine a world where our emotional intelligence and creativity can work hand in hand with AI's data processing power and precision. As we conclude, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What amazed you the most about the human brain? And what AI advancements are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey as much as we did, do hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us. And of course, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us in our upcoming adventures on eduxplores. We promise it's going to be as thrilling, if not more. Remember, the journey of learning never stops, and we're delighted to have you with us. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.